war. Over here. Pierre, what is this about? We have a shared interest. You in resisting Francia's north-loathing loyalists, me in getting paid. Those do not seem connected. I am working with a rogue band of men and women across Francia who tire of the chaos Charles's rule brought. Their numbers are small. Few are foolish enough to resist well-equipped loyalist forces. You do not believe in their cause. I do not, but they do. This is where you come in. Help them, and you will have ample reward for your effort. It is strange that you support them while believing their cause ill-fated. What kind of monster would I be if I were to dash the hope they hold in their hearts? Anyway, there is profit to be made, and only a fool ignores that. How can I help? What do you have? Good luck, Evon. Come <laughs> on. 
Oh, Dieu, stop this infernal mewling, else I swear I will turn you into soup. Magnifique. If you want to do more, I'll be here. I did not take you for a lover of cats. I am not. One of the rebels picked it up during a mission. Nearly cost the fool his life. Animals are true-hearted. A cat will be a loyal companion to the end of its life. I doubt it. Felines are crafty, sly. They follow their own agendas. Much like myself. Once he has had his fill of food and drink, I predict a quiet disappearance. Speaking of disappearances... The Loyalists grow fewer. Our missions are going well. Am I detecting some sentiment? We are making small change, but it is not enough. And it matters not, so long as we make a profit. So, what will it be? How did the rebels fare? Don't forget, it's your turn to feed Phantom today! It is always Pierre's turn, and he'll sooner jump into the lake than forget to feed Phantom. Shut up, both of you. Good work. Let me know if you're looking for more to do. I'm surprised to see that cat still here. It will not leave, and it takes up space. It does not help that Dero and Enna find amusement in how attached it is to me. Your little band of rebels is growing. Funny. But truthfully, they grow stronger with each victory, as does their confidence. They are bolstered by our victories, and it's easier to convince new recruits to join. Soon this hideout will not hold them all. We will face that when the time comes. For now, we fight. So it begins. Good luck, Evor. It's Evor! Come join us! You too, Pierre! It is time for merriment! Well done, Evor! I expected nothing less. Is this a celebration? In a way, a break for all our hard work. Come, drink with us. The place is starting to look more like an alehouse than a rebel hideout. We call them taverns here, Evor. Careful. Too much wine and a man's heart is laid open for all to see. Good people. I do not make long, flowery speeches. <laughs> what I want to say amounts to but a few words. We... ...have arrived! A toast! To us, and to Eivor! You have become softer than the cheese you love. I did not have any hope for this movement when we started. Or rather, I did not want to have any. A small group of armed peasants against... what? An army of trained soldiers. But now... It is not through numbers that victory is gained. 
but in the hope and courage of those who fight. Bah, hope is an ugly word. But, mon dieu, they made me... feel. For friends last longest if fate be fair, who give and give again. A verse from the Havamal, words of wisdom we follow. Poetic. For a collection of bloodthirsting raiders. <laughs> <laughs> for now what do you want to do i will be back well, you...